Hello. Now today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Simpson's Paradox, or the Yule Simpson Effect. Now it's not a true paradox, but it is a really counterintuitive result that sometimes crops up in statistics, particularly when you're comparing different data sets. Now it's probably best to illustrate this by way of an example. So let's imagine there's some medical condition and there are two possible treatments and you want to know which is the most effective. Now in this study we have 350 people in treatment A, 350 people getting treatment B and the results were as follows. So uh, we can see that overall treatment A cured 78% of the total cases. Treatment B cured 83% of the total cases and so it would be log logical to conclude that treatment B is the better treatment. Now something quite odd happens when we look at the breakdown between the more severe and the less severe conditions because these are the actual uh, results when we break them down. So for the less severe cases, treatment A cured 93% compared to only 87% for treatment B. So treatment A has won for the less severe cases. For the more severe cases, well, treatment A cured 73% compared to only 69% for treatment B. So treatment A has won for the more severe cases as well. So we've got treatment A winning for the less severe and the more severe conditions. And yet when we look at the total, treatment B appears to have won. So this is the Simpsons paradox. So what's actually going on? Now in this particular case, when you're doing a study like this, what you really want to happen is you keep everything the same apart from changing the treatment so that you're actually measuring the difference in the treatment. But that's not quite what's happened here. There's actually a hidden variable that we hadn't taken into account in the original study. And this was that the more severe cases are harder to treat for both treatments. And if you look at the actual numbers, well, you can see that treatment A has been given much more of the more severe cases to treat than treatment B. And treatment B has been given much more of the easier to treat cases. So we're actually measuring the difference in the severity of the condition more than actually changing the treatment. Now believe it or not, this data was actually from a real medical study published in the British Medical Journal in the 1980s. It actually concerned treatment for kidney stones. And the authors had come to slightly the wrong conclusion. Now, had they not, in the study, broken it down into the more and less severe cases, then perhaps in a later paper, this wouldn't have been discovered. Now, it doesn't just occur in things like medical studies. It occurs in all manner of statistics. Any time where there could be a hidden variable that might not be obvious from changing one thing or another. And it's vitally important that we don't just jump to the conclusion that just because one thing differs between two groups, it doesn't mean it's the only thing that's different. And you can sometimes reach completely the wrong conclusion. So, thanks for watching.